Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Friday the 16th of February comes to you from London. We start by looking at the dollar index, dollar sinking lower again this morning, we're seeing here just pushing lower and uh, really showing up in this weekly candle, a really bad week for the dollar so uh, that uh, weakness just continues. Euro strength of course, on the back of that weaker dollar, euro dollar looking uh, stronger and stronger all the time. As I've said through the week, just a shortage of upside targets is a slight concern. If we look at the dollar against the yen, really showing how that's sinking now. And there was a time here where the dollar looked like it might be entering a new long-term phase, but we've seen this turn down now. So this is really just confirming dollar weakness all the way around. Uh, sterling looking stronger against the dollar as well, uh, as we see here. And uh, here we see uh, sterling against the euro, just starting to try and get above this uh, uh, cloud here on the short term chart. Still bearish long term and medium term struggling. Of course, the key thing is, are we going to activate this downside target, which we haven't yet on the short term chart. <coughs> Looking at um, the uh, sterling chart against Swiss franc, still downside targets there. And against the Aussie dollar, uh, it's, it's fairly flat. Uh, Bitcoin yesterday was back above $10,000, so uh, that's a fairly uh, good news for Bitcoin. Um, we've seen very big gyrations in price, of course, but this is probably the best week for uh, quite a few weeks now uh, where we look at that weekly candle being uh, strong and up. Um, it still is a, quite a fall here, but we do seem to be finding some support on the uh, medium-term cloud. US markets continue their recovery. S&P 500 bounced very clearly on the cloud, same with the NASDAQ E-mini, really starting to get close to regaining uh, this high. What we have to be worried about, uh, of course, is to make a lower high and then we come lower than this level and that would be pretty bad for the NASDAQ, so we just need to keep an eye on that. The Dow also just bouncing on the cloud, the Russell, 2, uh, the Russell 2000 also bouncing on the cloud. Just a little bit of a shortage of um, upside targets. There is one on the Dow of 8.7%, the NASDAQ 7.5%, so it does suggest that we, we will go higher um, on, on those short-term charts. We just need to watch for any um, nervousness and a sell-off. Uh, be pretty um, interesting to see where we end the week. Locking in a good week would be good for the market. Uh, the future, the S&P future is up a third of a percent this morning and the NASDAQ E-mini up nearly half a percent. So looking pretty strong there. FTSE 100 up two thirds of a percent. Uh, it's recovery nowhere near as clear. If you look at that fall off, just really so much less of the, um, the loss gained here. Finding support on the long-term cloud looks pretty clear. But uh, and we're just starting to come through on the short term cloud and we have got a target here of 2.8% uh, upside. Looking at the FTSE 250, uh, the mid caps in the UK, similar picture, just a lot to recover. The DAX um, looking uh, like it will come through the cloud as well. We do have some upside targets here on the short term chart, some 4% but not yet activated on that one uh, and 0.7%. So, European markets still look a lot weaker than the US in terms of the recovery. The Nikkei, just trying to get back above the cloud on this daily, has got a lot of work to do, if not to turn bearish there. So um, that's quite key. And the Hang Seng looking strong and bouncing very clearly on the cloud. Uh, the Shanghai market, uh, the local Chinese market, is below the cloud on the medium term chart. So, uh, But finding support on the long term cloud. So just um, that's fairly good news. And if we look at the uh, Sensex, uh, it hasn't really recovered as sharply as the other markets, still bearish in the short term, but uh, has held its uh, medium and long term trends. The Aussie market seems to be bouncing on the cloud as well, so uh, that's looking pretty good too. Um, Brent crude is into a new um, bull phase on the short term chart. We seem to have again found support here on the medium term support, so that's quite good. And WTI also. We've got upside targets of 2.6% on Brent and uh, as much as 9% on WTI. So that pulls us right back into the, um, to the mid-60s, 67 there on WTI, which would put Brent back into the 70s. Uh, US Nat Gas, 2.55%, uh, just holding this support level, but we do have downside targets lower than this, so just sinking away. A very, very scary target on this, uh, but this big selling thrust, a very, very scary target um, of 127. That's uh, some 50% uh, lower. It's really hard to imagine, but that's um, that's where we're seeing the target. That Nat, can Nat Gas really halve? Uh, looking at copper, looking pretty bullish. 
that's a good proxy just for industrial uh, production globally. And gold, the real story, um, above 1360 this morning. Uh, we need a little bit more just to activate this new upside target on the medium term chart. But uh, 1360 is a really critical level. If we can hold that into the close, that would be um, the highest closing level we've seen for uh, 18 months or even nearly um, nearly two years. If we can go above uh, 1370, then um, we're looking at three and four year highs. It's so gold looking very strong indeed. Silver also looking strong. And uh, US 10 year yields just coming off the top a little bit at 2.89%. But again, uh, this is a real proxy for inf inflation fears, which is what's caused the, the sell-off in the in, in the last few weeks as well. Um, and that's driving the gold price a bit and the weaker dollar. Uh, Apple looking uh, better than it has been. It's getting back above the cloud on the medium term chart. Uh, quite a quite a worrying time there. Bounced right on support on the long term chart there. Uh, Google looking um, good. Still not quite through on the long term and short term chart, but we do have good upside targets, eight and a half percent. Amazon looking very strong indeed on all three charts, and Facebook just finding its feet, but uh, just struggling at this 180 level. And Microsoft is through the cloud on all three charts, so looking pretty bullish as well. That's it for today. Until Monday, have a great weekend. Happy Happy charting. See you then.